Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at some applications of quadratic functions. So here's our first one. The demon drop at Cedar Point in Ohio takes riders to the top of a tower and drops them 60 feet. A function that approximates this ride is h equals negative 16 t squared plus 60, where h is the height in feet and t is the time in seconds. About how many feet do the riders drop in one second? Okay, so first thing that I might need to know is what is their height after one second? One second is certainly a t value, and I'm interested in their height at one second. So that means I'm going to take my equation and I'm going to replace t with 1. So that's going to give me negative 16 times 1 squared plus 60. That would be negative 16 times 1 plus 60, or 44 feet. So after one second of the ride going, the riders have reached a height of 44 feet, or they have dropped to a height of 44 feet. Now, if we're interested in how far they have dropped, we can think about that would be the difference in their height at the start and their height after one second. Now we know that the ride takes riders up to a max height of 60 feet, and at one second after the ride begins, they are at a height of 44 feet. This means that 60 minus 44, our riders have dropped 16 feet after one second. Okay, so there's one application. Let's take a look at another. Let's say that a plot of land for sale has a width of x. So we'll label that over here x. It also has a length of 8 feet less than its width. So that's x minus 8. I'll label both sides here. A farmer will only purchase the land if it measures 240 square feet. Now I know that square feet has to do with area. An area for a rectangle is length times width. Now we want to find out what value of x will cause the farmer to purchase the land. So let's set up an equation. If area is length times width, then that would be x times x minus 8. And our farmer will only purchase this land if it measures 240 square feet. Okay, so now I'm going to work on getting this into a quadratic that I know how to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply my x in on the left hand side. So x squared minus 8x equals 240. Now to use any of my solving methods, I need the right hand side to be equal to 0. So subtracting over that 240, I get x squared minus 8x minus 240 equals 0. I want to figure out what value of x makes this true, or what are the solution values. So I can use whatever method I like. I believe that this one will factor, so I'm going to go ahead and factor. Thinking of values that multiply to give negative 240, but add to give negative 8, I could use 12 and 20. To get a negative 8, that would need to be minus 20 and plus 12. Now setting those values separately equal to 0, I get x plus 12 equals 0, and x minus 20 equals 0. So x equals negative 12 feet is a solution, and x equals 20 feet is a solution. Now one of those might have sounded a little odd to you. Negative 12 feet, that doesn't really make any sense. When it comes to application problems, there will sometimes be solutions that don't work in the context of the problem, so we'll just get rid of them. 
So our only logical solution is for the width to be 20 feet. That value would make our farmer, farmer willing to purchase the land. All right, guys, that does it here for our first video on applications of quadratic functions. We'll catch you in the next one.